That's right guys, so today we're going to bring you another unboxing and overview of another awesome gaming chair. Or maybe awesome. Today is going to be of the Cougar Armor Pro gaming chair. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a brief overview. That way you know everything that comes inside of this box. And then I'm going to give you all the details and the specifications as well, just in case you have any questions. Then in another video, I'm going to show you guys how to put it all together. So anyway, let's get started on this unboxing. All right, so we'll start opening it now. Since the move, I don't know where I put my other knife, so got to use a butter knife. So here we have the five star base. Nice and sturdy, you could see there. All right, just put that aside for now. Unfortunately, lots of garbage. Then we have here the back. The back rest length is 32.67 inches. Don't eat that. <laughs> All right, so we can see there. Suede like my tip. Oof, man, this. Okay, so this is like a breathable, extra thick, premium PVC leather. It feels very nice. And you can see the, their pattern here, which is kind of nice too. But then over here, feels very, like a felt like material. Feels nice. Let me zoom in for you. Feels very nice. And so you can hear it better. Feels nice. It's got, does have the pillow here. It is detachable, like most would be, with the strap right over here. Then a zipper right here on the pillow. Then just some foam in here. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside for now. It also does come with the backrest pillow down here that also clips along the back up here off of these two little holes. And we can see the Cougar over here embroidered along the back. Feels very nice. And then also these little side rests that kind of keep you bundled up in the chair. And here we have the seat, same material. Just open this up for you. And it also has that nice diamond pattern design. Feels very great. Now the seat thickness we can see right there is 3.93 inches. Okay, and it is cushy. Don't eat that. It is nice and cushy. We can see back here, they have the little bar to make the back slide back and forward. Along the back, or the bottom, should I say. This is strapping in the chair, the material to the chair itself.
Here we have the instructions, which I'm gonna go ahead and of course not right now, but during the build, I'm gonna go ahead and put up on the screen. That way you guys know each and every step I take and each and every piece, which is another reason I filmed these videos so that you guys know every single piece that this comes with. So when you take it out of the box, you know you're not missing a single piece. Okay, and then we have two of the 3D armrests. 3D because they go, they turn like that, then they go up and down, and then they go forward and back. It's probably a little bit easier. There we go, forward and back, and then up and down. And they tell you, little L over here, that's on the left. The other one obviously would be on the right. Okay, then we have down here. The piece where the piston screws into goes into the base and then this screws into the, the entire seat. This is the part that will let you lift it up or down or back or forward locking it in place so and i'll go over that after the build video just showing you guys how the chair works and then here for the tilt mechanism where you can unscrew and screw to make it looser or tighter for the tilt mechanism very good thing that a lot of chairs miss I apologize, somebody decided to do the lawn right as I started recording. Okay, these are going to be the sides there. So we'll see more of these in there. There's two of these. This will be the cover for the piston. So you don't get your fingers caught in there. That would hurt a lot. The little caps for the screws. Okay, these little caps for the screws, along with two screws and an Allen wrench that also is a Phillips head on one side, which is nice. Okay. Then we have the four casters. These are pretty large, maybe, casters. I can't really compare it right now, but four of these guys. Sorry, five of them. And then we have over here, the class four gas lift cylinder. That's going to, you know, raise and lower the chair and support your weight. This will support up to 264.5 pounds. The back width here is 22.83 inches. As I mentioned before, the seat thickness is 3.93 inches. Now the floor to base of the chair, so the seat from the floor to the seat is anywhere between 14.96 inches and 17.71 inches since it is adjustable. The width of the seat is 22.83 inches and the seat depth is 20.47 inches. The armrest height to the floor is anywhere between 27.55 inches to 30.31 inches. Now, of course, I'm gonna go through all of this as I'm doing the build video to show you guys you know, just how everything looks and how everything works, of course. The seat will recline up to 180 degrees and the chair itself 
has a full steel frame for durability and body support. That's about it for the unboxing and overview. Again, I just wanted to show you everything that comes inside of this box. That way you guys aren't clueless, you know, when something does happen, if you're missing something. So as I showed you everything, I put screenshots up on the screen of them. And then as I'm doing the build, I'll also do the same. That way you guys know everything that comes in this box in case you get it from Amazon or from Newegg or from wherever you open it up and you might be missing something and you're not sure you have this video as a point of reference. Anyway, that's it for right now. This is again, Iggy doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the Cougar Armor Pro gaming chair. Iggy out. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.